me begin. Okay, you see, uh, in all questions like this, we have to uh, first underline keywords. So what are the keywords here? The keywords are that the perimeter of the shaded portion is 4cm more than that of the unshaded portion. Okay, and the question is asking you to find the length of AB and then the area of the shaded region. Okay, now, since this question involves a difference and the difference I'm referring to is the word more over here. And since this is a difference, I will need to know where is the difference between the unshaded and the shaded portion. Okay, now to do that, we need to do more labeling. Okay, so you can see here A, B. I'm gonna add more labels. And actually you can do the same yourself when you're doing question papers, okay? It will help a lot. So C, D, and in this particular question, uh, I know that I probably will have to break this line into two portions because that's the separating line. And then as a result of that, I'm gonna name this as E, F, G, H, Okay, I will normally avoid I because of the way it looks like a one, J, and then K. Okay, so now let's eliminating, let's start eliminating lines that are shared by both the shapes. So what is the what are the lines used by the triangle, which is the unshaded part? So the unshaded part is made up of A B. BK as well as KA. If you were to look at the shaded portion, it would also be BK. So BK is shared. I'm going to write it here. This is the shaded. And the reason I'm writing it here is because then we can place them together. And then from here, we do BK, and then we can add up all the other lines, which includes KJ, JH, and so on. Okay, so I'm gonna add the KJ, JH, HG, GF, FE, ED, DC and CB. And that brings me back to the beginning, okay? B and B, just like we see here, A and A. Okay, that's how you know that you have went, gone one whole round, okay? So it's good to be organized. And now we need to eliminate things that are the same. So what do I mean by things that are the same? Well, first things first, we know that the line BK here is actually shared by two shapes, the shaded and the unshaded. And so this is the first thing we will eliminate. Okay, so I'm gonna eliminate BK with BK. And then next, I'm gonna to try to eliminate, so this is gone. I'm gonna to try to eliminate KA, this line, together with lines that are equivalent to KA, which is JH, GF, and DC. Okay, so these three lines will add up to form this long line here. Okay, so I'm going to eliminate Ka. And when I do that, I also eliminate J, JH, GF, and DC over here. Next, I need to eliminate. AB, this line, and AB is equivalent to EF, GH, and JK. So these three lines add up to AB, and I'm going to eliminate them together. So when I eliminate, eliminate AB, I will also eliminate EF, HG, and JK. This means that I only have 
two lines left, ED and CB. ED is here, and CB is here. And since the difference is four, then these two lines will add up together to form four centimeters. Okay, so we now know that ED plus BC, or just to be consistent, CB is four centimeters. And since they are equal, then to find one of them, either ED or CB, I'm going to find CB. I will take four centimeters and I'll divide it by two. Doing so will give me two centimeters. Okay. And that is uh, the length of CB. Okay. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to clean this up a little bit because if I don't, you're going to have problems later looking at it. All right. So I'm going to take this away and I'm going to make this neater. Just give me a moment. Okay. A little bit more careful. And then do some proper neat illustration. This and this, which I've just found to be two centimeters each from here. So here, this is two centimeters and this is two centimeters, okay? Now to prevent confusion, the seven centimeters that you see here represents the entire length, okay? So now the question is, how do I find AB? Well, simply by taking the length of AC and taking away the two centimeters here. So I'm going to start by finding the length of AC, which I already know is made up of this plus this plus this. And that means I'm going to add three plus three plus seven. And then by taking away two, because three plus three plus seven is this line, then by taking away the two, I get a B. So I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, so uh, let's start with AC. And AC is three plus three plus seven centimeters, giving you 13 centimeters. So I know that this is 13. And then I take away two to get this. So AB is 13, subtract two, giving you 11 centimeters. Okay, and that is the answer for the first part, A. Second, we are going to find the area of the shaded region. To find the area of the shaded region, basically what you need to do is to find the area of this plus this plus this and then take away the area of the triangle. Can you see that? So if we are gonna do that, I'm going to name them different names, okay? I'm going to name the smallest one here. I'm just going to call it, uh, I'm just going to give it a huge X there. So this would be my area X. This would be my area Y. And this would be my area Z. I'm going to find these three areas and then I'm going to take away the unshaded portion to get the shaded portion, okay? So this is what I'm going to do. Okay, let me just draw a line here and uh, see how much space I can create. Okay, I'm running out of space fast. Okay, so uh, I'll take this away in some more space up there. Okay, we'll see whether we need to use it, probably. Here we go. 
area of x. Okay, x is simply 3 times 2. To give you six square centimeters, then y. Now, for y, we need to have this number, and this number is three plus three, so that makes a six. That makes a six. So for y, I think I'll change to black because it's clearer. So that will be six centimeters times four centimeters. 24, and then we have Z, which is basically 13 times eight. Okay, so 13 times eight, and that should be 104. Okay, you should check that with a calculator. I should do that too. Okay, 13 times eight, 104. Okay, that's fine. So now, if I were to add up the, these three portions, I would basically be getting the total area of the figure. So that would be 104 plus 24 plus 6. Okay, I'm just going to try to squeeze this in. All right. And hopefully, okay, I'm just going to try to squeeze it all in, and I will get 134. Okay, I'm, I'm going to write this in a different color because it's going to flow over. And that's 134 square centimeters. And as I've said, now I need to eliminate the unshaded portion here. So I'm going to use the space here. And it is basically a triangle. And the formula for area of a triangle is half times the base times the height. And the base is basically two plus four plus eight, okay? Which I have not yet done. So I'm just gonna write that two plus four plus eight. And that will give me 14. centimeters, sorry, 14 centimeters. And 11 over here. So these two numbers I will be using to find the area of the triangle. Half times 11 times 14. Okay, I'm just gonna do that. So half times 11 times 14, and that gives me 77 centimeters. square, okay, 77 square centimeters. And with the shaded, the unshaded area and the total area found, I am now ready to find the shaded area. And to do that, all I need to do is subtract. So I'm gonna take the area of the entire figure and subtract the area of the unshaded portion Okay, so the total minus the unshaded, which is 134 minus 77, which I've just written. And let's do that in the calculator. And that gives me 57 square centimeters. And that is the answer for part B. All right, so where are the two answers? Just to summarize, the answer for A is to find AB, and AB is 11. And the answer for B is to find the area of the shaded region, which is 57 square centimeters. And with that, we have solved the question. All right. Uh, remember, this is for learning purposes. And if you want to learn more, then please subscribe and watch my other videos, okay? I'll be putting up more as I go. Take care and good luck for your PSLE. See you, bye-bye.